Here at home tonight, local Democrats and Republicans are calling for the political violence a wake-up call. Both sides told Fox 23's Bailey Coyle the violence needs to stop. Both Democrats and Republicans say that the attempted assassination should be a wake-up call for politicians. That, um, that when you consider that there are also elected officials um, that have called for violence, I think that those types of things don't do anything to, uh, to help tamp down the, uh, the passion that's going on right now for this, uh, for this election. I think it's been obvious to all of us that the rhetoric has been heightened, that there's been talk of blood, there's been talk of uh, violence, and that all of us have been waiting for something unfortunately like this to happen, hoping that it doesn't. Tim Gilpin, former Tulsa County Democratic Party chair, who also ran for Congress, says he wasn't surprised to see such an act of violence. He says things need to change. It's been obvious to all of us that the rhetoric has been heightened, that there's been talk of blood, there's been talk of uh, violence, and that all of us have been waiting for something unfortunately like this to happen, hoping that it doesn't. When I asked Rhonda Voltamont Smith, Tulsa County Republican Party chairman, if she was surprised, she said, No, and let me tell you why, because I had faith in our Secret Service. She says it's not the Republicans or the Democrats causing political violence, but the extremist groups. Remember the, the Trump rally in Tulsa back in uh, in 2020. You know, the 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 anger and the um, the instigations and stuff didn't come from and I'm not going to say just Republicans, but it didn't come from the conservative side. It came from the from Antifa and BLM and those types of organizations that are hell bent to create chaos and destruction. Gilpin says it's up to politicians to make a change. It's I'm sure a lot of our hope that what happened last night kind of breaks the political fever. That with the violence that we saw, that all of us are going to start looking around more closely at our politicians and our parties and saying this is unacceptable. Both parties agree that violence is not the answer. Violence are trying to take out either the president or the former president. That's not, that's never the answer for anything. It's important to note that violence is not acceptable as a part of American politics. The Public Religion Research Institute is a nonprofit, nonpartisan group. In a poll, they found that 23% of Americans think that violence needs to happen for the country to change. That's up from 15% in 2021. In the newsroom, covering news that matters, Bailey Coyle, Fox 23 News.